Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. In the fourth part of building a job board using Django and Vue, I'm going to make it possible to select user type when you sign up. This is a multi-step process and the steps I'm going to go through are these. I'm going to create a new app for the, for the user profiles and register it with Django. Then I'm going to make a user profile database model and update the database. I'm going to change the sign up form so you can select which type of user profile you want. And I'm going to create a very simple dashboard that shows different information based on the type of user you are. Okay, let's begin with creating a new Django app. So I'm going to go to the command line and stop the server. And then I create a new folder, mkdir apps user profile. And then I can create the actual Django app by saying python manage py start app and then the name of the of the app user profile and then the location app slash user profile then hit enter before i do anything more i just want to register it with django so i'm going to go to settings.py and append it at the bottom of the list of installed apps apps.user profile so now django know that this app exists okay so now i can continue and go into user profile models.py so the first thing I want to do here is to import the user model from Django because I'm going to need a reference to the user model. A user profile is just an extension so I can add more fields because the default one only have a username, email and name. So to import the model as a from Django.contrib.auth.models import user and then below here I can create the user profile model class user profile which is the name of the model pass in models dot model and then I want a reference to the user so I just say user equals models dot one to one field this is a reference to the user and an index in the database so I can only have one user profile per user user this is the model related name which is user profile this makes it easy to get from the database on delete equals models dot cascade so when i delete the user i also delete the user profile because i don't want to have many user profile with no users and then i want to set the boolean is employer equals models dot boolean field default is false so by default all user who registers will be job seekers because there are only a few users who want to be an employer so this is a very easy way to store this information so if you register as an employer this will be set to true below here i create something called a lambda function user that user profile equals property lambda u colon user profile which is this model dot objects dot get get or create user equals u and then we get the first one in that list what this does is that every time we use a user profile on a user it checks if the user exists and if not it will create it like the user we are already created in the system doesn't have a user profile but when we try to access the user profile it will create one so everything so nothing will crash when you do this so now we can save this and go back to the command line to update the database python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate so now we have a new model called user profile so then i can run the server again just so we have it running in the background and then what I want to do is to change the sign up form a little bit so if I open up signup.html and above the sign up button I create a new field div class field div class control div sorry div class select in here I want to create a select element so you can select between a job seeker and an employer. 
select name account type option value job seeker selected but I want this to be selected by default job seeker option value employer employer you can also add a label above the control label account type and save so if I go now and log out click sign up you will see that I below here can select the account type perfect you can add an HR just to separate this a little bit but this won't work yet because I haven't done anything to the back end before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons so to do this I go into core slash views dot pi inside the sign up form below where the user is created I can just say account type to get this from the form data request.post.get account type if it isn't selected I just want to set this to the default job seeker and then I can test if account type equals employer then I can say user dot user profile dot is employer equals true and then user dot user profile dot save so only if it is an employer I want to do anything with the user profile so now I can test this I don't have any errors there so if I now just refresh employer can be the username and select employer sign up so now I was redirected to the front page hopefully this means that everything was working so the next step is now to create a dashboard I do this so it's easier to see if I am an employer now or a job seeker I want this view to be located in the user profile app so I can begin by creating the view by going to views.py and then I create a view saying def dashboard pass in the request parameter return render request user profile slash dashboard dot html and I want to pass in the user profile so I add the user profile like this and here I just say request dot user dot user profile I can access this in the front end as well but it's easier to just pass in the profile I also want to do one more thing here because this page requires that we are logged in so I want to import a decorator from Django from django.contrib.auth.decorators import login required and then I can just say at login required so every time you try to go to this view you will have to be logged in and save so now I can just import this to the URLs so that's done from apps dot user profile dot views import user no import dashboard I can append this right uh, below admin path dashboard slash pass in the view and the name can also be dashboard and save and then I can create a very simple template for this first I need to create a folder in the user profile app called templates and then a new folder called user profile in there I create a new file called dashboard.html which is the one we refer to here I want this to extend the base template as well so I say base now extends core slash base.html and then here as a block oops block content because I want to put content inside there and block in here I want title h1 class title dashboard 
and below here I want to check if the user profile is an employer so I just say if user profile dot is employer is employer else is job seeker and if so now we can save this and we can also test this by going back to the browser and go to slash dashboard so yes I am a job seeker so there's something wrong because I am not a job seeker this was supposed to say that I was an employer okay it might be because that in here the user profile hasn't been created yet so here I just say user profile equals user profile dot objects dot create user equals request no user equals user and is employer equals true like that and then I can remove that line else just copy these two lines false actually this default default so I can just say it like this remove user there and save so if I now try to sign up again employer 2 select employer sign up user profile is not defined now because I need to import it up here from apps dot user profile dot models import user profile sorry about that so if I now go back here employer 3 employer sign up so if I now go to dashboard is employer so now everything there is working perfect I also want to add a link up in the menu to the dashboard so if I go to base.html so I add it before the navbar item there but I still want to check if I'm authenticated and then I say a agrf url dashboard dash board and then I close this by saying and if so if I refresh now I have a link there but I forgot to add class nav bar item refresh so now I have a link to the dashboard perfect I want to make a little change to the dashboard so if I go back to dashboard.html here I can say h2 class subtitle jobs for job in request.user.jobs.all this will get all the jobs that this user has if he has any div class job job.title and if the user doesn't have any jobs yet we can just say empty at the bottom of the for loop p you don't have any jobs yet and save this can also be a paragraph it's a little bit prettier and save refresh no you don't have any jobs yet the last thing I want to do before I end this video is to go to views in the core folder and when you sign up instead of redirecting to the front page I want to be redirected to the dashboard and save so if I now log out create a new user job seeker and the password I want to be a job seeker so just click sign up and now I was redirected to the dashboard and it's saying that I'm a job seeker perfect and that was it for this part of the series if you like this video please click like below and share it with your friends see you next time